Hi, this is Danny Johnson, and um, as you can see, what is behind me, um, I'm out here in California. My husband Hans and I are working on some projects. He's looking at me right now, <laughs> so I have a feeling that he's going to come out here and do something disruptive, if I know my husband. He can be really disruptive. Anyway, but he's absolutely awesome, and I love his way of disrupting things. Anyway, um... I, uh, as you can see, that's the beach. We're in Southern California. Um, we're both here working on some projects. Um, hey, Dana, Laughlin, so good to see you here. Laura Sinkowski, hello, gorgeous. Yeah, so um, anyway, he's like right inside here um, working on his book right now, um, a book project that he's working on. He's smiling at me right now. <laughs> Anyway, so um, the title of this video, which is going to be a short video, I know, you're thinking, sure it is, Danny. Um, but the, the title of the video is, Is Your Marriage Hot, 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 or Is It Boring? With a long O, boring. Um, I don't know uh, how much you have thought about this or, or how much um, marriages have an impact on all of our lives, because it really does. It has an impact on all of us. Uh, and I think it's probably when I think about everything that I've uh, ever done, I think about everything I've ever talked about, trained on, uh, focused on, or studied, I think the most important thing that uh, we could ever talk about is marriage. And, and there's a few reasons why. But before I get into that um, content for us today, I think it'd be really super important that you do your part in helping our society to succeed by simply sharing the video right now. And I would love to know where it is that you are. Hey, Alan Ray, good to see you here. Um, I would love to hear where you are actually watching this video from. Because we have people that tap in from all over the world. I'm talking to you live from Southern California. It's a beautiful, absolute gorgeous day today. The weather is, is really, really nice. It's a little bit humid. It's a little bit more humid here than it is in Texas right now. Uh, we arrived, um, yeah, we arrived from uh, Texas yesterday. And we are here to work on some brand new content and developing something really, really exciting. Um, as I said, my husband's working on his book right now. And, um, and I'm working on a brand new uh, training seminar that we're putting together. And so anyway, so Diane Mead, thanks so much for sharing the video. Um, hello, Jen from North Carolina. We've got Sh uh, Charlene Northam from Nashville, Tennessee. Donna um, from Pennsylvania. Yes, uh, Dana is from Redding, California, my old stomping grounds for a few years at least. Arlene, good to have you here. Um, Arlene is from the Sonora area. Um, Tammy Davenport, North Carolina, Diana Kraken, hello. Um, so yeah, we've got the UK, Karen Metam from the UK, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, that's where we did uh, Secret Millionaire, Lily Cicada, uh, yeah, so keep going, um, just please, and I, and I just ask you, um, please share the video right now. We want to get as many people on this video as possible because this is a really important topic and it really does affect every single area of your life, whether you realize it or not. And here's how I know that. Um, I, uh, out of coaching thousands of people for the last two and a half decades of my life um, and predominantly in the business world uh, and in the spiritual world, uh, in both, what I can tell you is that um, marriage affects your finances it, it, it affects your personal finances even if you're not married like Marissa Katie who is uh, watching right now from Canada you know she started coming to first step test when she was 16 years old and um, you know uh, as a 16 year old your parents marriage has an impact on whether or not you'll dream whether or not you have certain things that you want to do with your life um, your your um, yeah your um, it, it, it impacts what you think is possible. It really does. Um, and so I, I want you to do your part right now with sharing this video um, because we're gonna talk about the hot marriage versus the boring marriage, the impact that it has, and how can we change it, and some things that we're working on. And the fact is, is that I really want your opinion. Um, in fact, can you tell me your opinion right now, uh, whether or not you feel like you can see this video good enough and whether or not you can hear, because those waves are really loud. They are like right there. In fact, I have to show you how right there they are. See those waves? They are right here. The waves are so close. And you can see all the people on the beach. Um, 
anyway, so just tell me if you can if you can hear me okay, if everything sounds good enough, um, and if you can see everything okay. And now that I've picked the darn thing up, ah, now I have this little whatever this thing is. We rented a little I don't know little condo out here, and I mean little um, out here in California. Um, but anyway, let's let's share this because. Um, you know, divorce rates are rampant. My husband and I have almost ended up divorced um, before in our marriage. We both came from really, really bad, uh, challenging backgrounds, and uh, we didn't have good examples of marriage at all. Um, not at all. Uh, his mom was married and divorced three times. She did the very best that she could. And then um, my uh, mom um, also was uh, divorced really young, uh, but I, I didn't know this until I was 18. Um, but we both came from abuse in our backgrounds. We both have um, drugs in our backgrounds. Um, we both have um, just, you know, some very not so fun things in our background. And so we were two broken people who came together and tried to work this thing out called marriage. And we call it war. We absolutely call it war. We have been through hell and back in our marriage. We have five kids. We have eight grandkids. Um, and we know the impact that um, our struggles in our marriage has had on our kids. We know the impact that our struggles in our marriage had on our finances. And there's something that I have found in coaching, like I said, thousands and tens of thousands of people through the years, is that when the marriage is hot, when it's good, when it's healthy, when it's strong, everything else is easy to fix. Um, it is. Everything else is easy to fix. Uh, so we're going to talk about that right now. So please share the video because you actually can help share a marriage today. You can help to share. Actually, you can help to stop somebody from making a really bad mistake, like some of the mistakes that I've made in my relationship. You can stop them from doing that. You can actually even stop someone from committing suicide today because some people will commit suicide over the hardships of their marriage. No joke. Um, we've recently had, like in our society, some very famous people commit suicide. Um, um, and they were just completely distraught. Um, the marriage was not healthy and everything else is not healthy. When your love life is, uh, when you feel alone, even though you're living with somebody, or you are living in a marriage that is that you feel rejected, um, you're living in a marriage where there could even be some abuse, um, whether it's spiritual abuse, which I have seen, and that, that is crazy, um, especially in our incredibly highly religious world where people have, um, uh, you know, used their spiritual bend to manipulate people and use their spiritual bend to control people. Uh, and they use the Word of God, for example, to beat people up, and they use the Word of God to control somebody, even to, like, prove what, they, you know, we can all grab... Uh, information out of the Word of God and, and twist it to be whatever it is that we want it to be. Uh, Dion, thank you so much for sharing this. Um, uh, and everybody else that's sharing it, we just had about 50 people share it. Gina uh, Mirup, so good to see you here, girl. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, thank you so much uh, for sharing this. Um, Felucho, I can't even pronounce that last name or whatever is it. Yeah, Pranav Birla, thanks for sharing it. Uh, Jules, uh, let, let's just go ahead and get let's get these viewers up to at least 300 so that we can continue uh, to make a difference. So if you're coming on right now, please share the video. This is about a hot marriage versus a boring one, the impact that it has on society, and how we can go about fixing these things. You know, there's lots of studies that have been done out there, and I actually want to know from you. I want your opinion. You know what? Our community is so powerful. Renee Miller, thanks so much for sharing this. Um, yeah, Bobby Sisk Jr., thank you so much uh, for being here. Um, yeah, all the, we got 61 shares so far. Let's go for 100. Hey, Zach, my son-in-law just joined us. Uh, Zach, text Erica. Tell her to get on here. Kathy Humphreys, my goodness, woman. <laughs> so good to see you here. Um, we have something that's brand new that we're working on right now, but we don't want to just create it out of our own heads. Um, we want to customize everything that we do so we can help serve you, your families, your friends, your, um, your communities better. Uh, and we've been serving communities and families and friends for a really long time. Uh, but we want to do an even better job. And this is where this is a team effort. And we want to be about uh, helping lives to get improved and to be better in every way, to be more fulfilling. And uh, we can't do that alone. We need your help in order to do that. Uh, so we just had 32 others uh, share this video. Uh, so if we can keep going, um, sharing, awesome. We've hit the 300 uh, people viewing this right now. We'll probably have uh, thousands and thousands that will be viewing this as, as time goes on. 
but who cares about the numbers, right? What I care about is that you are using your influence as I am using mine to help bring healing in places that people are are hurting so very deeply, but don't have anyone to talk about it. You know, uh, you might be this kind of a person that, um, you know, uh, on the outside everything looks wonderful and, and you and your spouse, you know, seem to be doing super good. and. Uh, out in public, right, and maybe at church and at work and all this stuff, but man, inside, behind closed doors, it is a war zone, and things are not great, and, and you're tired of uh, putting up the big giant facade and that you truly want to have more peace and passion at the same time in your home, that you want harmony in your home, uh, and that maybe you've tried every possible thing that you can try and it still is not happening. Um, if that's you, uh, I'm glad that you're listening right now. And or everything might be just completely perfect. Um, you know, in fact, I want you to rate your marriage. Uh, in fact, in this in this uh, description on this video, it says uh, that there's a link because I really want to hear how you feel about your marriage and, and what the truth is about what's going on perhaps inside of your home. John Wilson, thank you so much um, for your sweet blessings. Ashley, I know you're on here. Thank you. It's a family member, another family member um, up in Temecula. Uh, Laura Love, how do I submit to my husband when I'm already seeing red? I don't know exactly what seeing red means, but if you want to explain a little bit more about that, um, we can do that. And by the way, yes, jo Joni Henderson says no marriage is perfect. <laughs> no question. Um, in fact, if you, uh, in fact, um, if you were, hey, Scotty, it's another, um, my son-in-law Scotty is on here. Lauren Bretz, good to see you here. Um, if you're just now joining us, um, I'm going to ask that if we're doing these free videos, that you just do one thing. Freely you're receiving it, freely share it. Share this video and do it now. You might save a marriage, you might save a life, um, because this is going to be about bringing solutions. So, as I mentioned earlier, when I think about all the things that I've talked about and trained on throughout, hi handsome, <laughs> so sweet, I love it when he calls me mom. Um, when, when I think about all the, um, the struggles that I've had in my life, the struggles I've had in marriage, the struggles that my husband's had in life, and in marriage and parenting, um, the mistakes, the failures. I mean, we've made so many horrible mistakes. We've made terrible financial mistakes. We've made terrible relationship mistakes. I have made probably more relationship mistakes in our marriage than my husband has. Um, I would say, yeah, I, I probably carry the biggest failure in our marriage more so than he does. Uh, he might see it differently, but I, who knows? And one day you'll hear the two of us talk about it. Um, man, Shelly, I'm so sorry. She says I'm divorced after 17 years. I, that's just, it's heartbreaking. Uh, but what I can say is that, you know, out of all the business training that we've done, all the financial training that we've done, the parenting training we've done, the business coaching that we've done, out of everything I have found a common denominator. And it is that um, I've seen people try to grow their businesses and, and for some reason it just won't grow. I've seen people try to grow their finances and for some reason it just will not grow. When I dig a little deeper, I find out what the real reason is for and that is because of what's going on in the home. And really what goes on inside of the home comes out of the heart. And so when, when the marriage is a mess, Everything else is a mess. The spiritual life is a mess. The finances are a mess. The business is a mess. Even though some people can say, oh, no, no, my business is flourishing like crazy. Trust me. It is not flourishing anywhere near where it could be if you had your priorities set and the relationship between you and your spouse was better, at least uh, what it should be. If it was healthy, if it was passionate, it was peaceful, it's harmonious, all at the same time. And I'm not saying every day, all day, but I'm saying that that's the majority of, of what it looks like in your life. And it's taken Hans and I a really long time to get there. We had, the, in fact, years past the way I used to express, uh, explain our marriages is that we had um, seasons of bliss separated by seasons of earthquakes and tsunamis and hurricanes and typhoons uh, and twisters, sometimes all in the same day. Uh, and sometimes those would go on for a week at a time, um, big time, those things would happen. And, and a lot of times, um, you know, kids can get blamed for that, but it's not the kids. And, and sometimes it can be the business or the finances that, that blame that. It's not that at all. It has everything to do with where you're starting from in your very heart and the choices you're personally making each and every day and the way you're choosing to communicate, again, by based on what comes out of your heart. So the common denominators, again, that I've noticed, by the way, we're at 334 right now, amount of viewers that are watching this. Um, let's keep sharing.
sharing the video. Everybody just do it right now. Let's just share this right this minute and then I want you to type in shared. Go for it. Do it right now. Just do it. Share it right now. Go ahead. Let's watch those numbers grow and you're, you're having a part in making them grow. Um, so out of a, all the things I've seen is that when people try to correct their finances without correcting what's going on in the marriage, the finances don't get corrected. When people try to correct their businesses, thanks handsome, my son-in-law just shared it, my cousin just shared it, thanks Ashley, uh, yes, Nelly Sanchez, so good, Marissa, thank you so much, Marissa's been a part of our family for a really long time, um, awesome, I'm seeing all the shares come in, let's, let's keep that going, let's keep that going, let's keep that going. Um, and why? <laughs> Not to get my name or face out there, but to, this is a very important topic of marriage. And so what do we want to see? Um, I want to see that we get to the bottom line, right? Meaning when the marriage isn't right and there's kids in the home especially, it affects their emotions, it affects their mind, it affects their spirit, it affects um, how they see life and what they will or will not go after. I see a whole generation of P uh, kids that are now adults in their 30s not having children. They're scared to have kids. I had a conversation today with somebody, in fact, that very thing is that she's afraid to even think about having kids because of the marriage that she has witnessed her entire life. And on the outside, uh, the marriage looks so wonderful, right? They drive nice cars, they got big fancy diamonds, they're, uh, they, the appearance of lots of money, but behind closed doors, it's a crazy amount of debt and an amazing amount of emotional and verbal abuse, tons of manipulation um, and uh, emasculation of the head of the household. And this has had a ma major impact on people. And so, uh, and it causes the kid to, uh, in fact, even be on antidepressants and having suicidal thoughts because they look at their future and they say, I just don't want that. And so we want all of us to do what we can to have marriages that are going to be more about helping uh, this next generation to dream and dream big and giving them tools that are necessary for them to be able to succeed in their everyday life. There's so much training and focus on business and finance and mind you that I've done my fair share of that in the marketplace. However, Wow, I just read a statistic that I don't know if it's real and I'll confirm this, but 95% of all statistics, I mean 95% of all suicides are male. Ooh, that is really scary to think about. I'm gonna do some research on that. Um, I don't know if you can confirm that for me or not, but that's scary. Wow, thanks uh, Tracy for sharing that video again. Um, so anyway, uh, I really wanna know from you, okay? So I want you to rate your marriage and we've put together this simple little survey. And this survey just has a list of questions. Um, fill out the questions that you feel comfortable filling out. And then there's a place at the very end to be able to ask a question. Um, and here's why. I don't want to rely on research that's on the internet. I want to know, because I'm not searching, I'm not uh, serving everyone that's on the internet. I'm serving you. You, our faithful clients, you who are uh, working with us here on, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you who have been participating with um, the DannyJohnson.com website and First Step Success of Creating a Dynasty. You know, so the statistics that, that are out there, which, you know, I, I don't know where they get them from. I don't know who's doing the polls. I don't know uh, really what the, the questions were that were asked. I'm not there to serve them. I'm here to serve you and your community and your business and your family. And so that's why I need to know from you. I don't wanna rely on research that's out there. I wanna rely on your your input because your input really does matter to us. Um, we wanna know if the marriage is hot, what has helped it to become that way? If the marriage is boring, what do you feel is the main reason why it has become that? Um, if you feel like the marriage is um, about to end. We want to know what has brought it to that place. So if you can answer the survey, you can see the link right here. It's pinned to the top. It says surveymonkey.com and then it says hot marriage after that. Um, please just uh, do a, fill out that survey. So obviously the survey is for married people only. We want the husbands and the wives to fill this out. So if you are a husband and you're on here, your wife isn't, please just have her fill out that survey. Um, we're not going to share this information with anybody. That survey is not going to be like, you know, sold to anybody or anything. None of that kind of stuff. Uh, but we want to, um, again, we want to serve you the best that we can. And, and I'm going to start doing, both perhaps Hans and I will start doing um, various little videos, little vignettes, 
about marriage. Here we got one one gentleman saying my marriage is dead. John, I so want to hear how it got there. And so the survey is really quick. It's really simple. There's a section in the survey that is just for the men, and there's a section in the survey that is just for women. And you'll see what it says, um, where it says, you know, men only answer these questions, and then women only, because again, we care about you. I don't. I'm not saying I don't care about the people that are on the internet. What I am saying is that I don't want to rely on Google to tell me uh, what they think about marriage. I, <laughs> lots of reasons why I don't want to rely on Google to tell me what they think about marriage. I want to know what you, how, what your involvement is with marriage. And so if you know married people, please share this survey with them because we want to know. Again, because you are our community and who your community is, it, we're a part of that community as well. Uh, Mary Starr, so good to see you here. Thank you. Please share the video, Mary. We're, we're talking about marriages, and we're talking about tips uh, for it to take it from hot to boring. Uh, and we're talking about the impact that it has on the family and the business. It really does. I know that when uh, Hans and I were doing really, really bad, it had a massive impact. If all of our staff was on here right now, and they were working with us during those years, um, wow, Mary, congratulations, 15-year anniversary, she just said. Um, when uh, when Hans and I were going through some of our roughest times in our personal relationship, um, uh, it had a major impact on our staff. It was hard on our staff. Um, it brought pressure on our staff. It did not help the morale uh, for the company. It didn't help them to produce or perform better. It, it brought fear uh, to them. Okay, and it's the same for the home. Do you understand? So your kids, and I, I've attempted to tell many people this, and some people listen, some people don't, um, but what's going on between you and your spouse has a major impact on your children. They respond to that. You know, I had uh, one wife come to me and say, my daughter's cutting herself, and, and um, you know, she's... Uh, She's dressing inappropriately, like she's just pressing against every single one of our rules and I don't know what's wrong. And, and fortunately, I had some inside information about what was happening inside the relationship. And so I just asked the question, like, well, how are you and your husband doing? Oh, you know, we've got our issues and, you know, da, 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 and, and, you know, so I dug a little deeper and found out that the husband's being so terribly emasculated and there's just no respect at all in the house towards him. And, and this is why he's angry. And he doesn't even know why he's angry. He's just angry. And so I told her, I said, you know, whether you realize it or not, your children are picking up on, on, they can hear the fights, they can hear the screaming, they see the emasculation, they see the disrespect, and in their spirits they know it's wrong. And so your daughter is cutting because she is feeling hopeless about this current situation. Um, your other daughter is out messing around and drinking because for the same exact reason. You know, so uh, don't think for a minute that your relationship doesn't have an impact on your kids. Now, I'm, I don't want you to feel guilty right now. We're gonna bring solutions to that, and we're gonna bring short little video vignettes um, based on the questions it is that you're gonna be filling out in, inside this survey, and um, also bringing what the survey is talking about. Not Obviously not giving out names or anything like that, but please fill out the survey. You can see it's pinned to the very top of this video. Um, we wanna hear about it. If you have a hot marriage or a boring one, or if your marriage is okay, um, we want to hear about your input, your opinion about your marriage. Um, so we want to be about helping you to get that marriage hot and passionate and peaceful and harmonious all at the same time, 24-7, no, but uh, to have months at a time where it is that way and that maybe it's once a year there's a blowout versus once a week or once a day. Um, trust me, my husband and I have been there and if we've managed to be able to get ourselves to where we're at, then so can you, no question. Um, and also stay tuned, um, if you've tapped into the dannyjohnson.com website, stay tuned my friend because you're going to be hearing about a new upcoming uh, thing that is uh, going to bring, bring some amazing answers, incredible healing, restoration in your finances, and um, restoration in your heart. Great healing for the entire family. Um, yeah, so this is Danny from dannyjohnson.com. Please fill out that survey. Again, this survey is not going to be shared with anybody. I will be looking at the responses tonight. I'll be getting on a line and, and getting in the back office of that survey, and I'm going to be reading those questions. I'm going to be studying. I'm going to be praying as we are formulating something brand new uh, that's, that's going to be answering the cry of, of thousands and thousands of our clients who have been asking this for, for a really long time. So, again, please share the video share the survey. Get as many people as you possibly can to fill out that survey. We don't want it to depend on Google or somebody else's surveys uh, that had whatever the reasons why they did those surveys. We're here to serve you. That's our reason. We're here to serve you. We're here to equip you to succeed. 
in your marriage, in your business, in your finances, in your parenting, in your health. We are here to, to equip you to succeed in every area of your life. And we're committed to doing that. Um, so please share this right now with everybody. Okay, and then for the rest of you, we'll be seeing you in about a week in San Antonio. We've got First Step Success that's coming up. Uh, where again marriages have uh, been healed thousands and thousands and thousands too many to count uh, too many emails to count that we've received where marriages have been totally restored in fact I had this one woman who was divorced for eight years and after first steps to success and creating a dynasty there are two levels of training seminars that we have um, she ended up remarrying her spouse that she was divorced from from eight years can you believe that that's crazy I mean that that's so much healing that happened for her and her spouse. She's the one who came first for many, many times and then eventually brought him. They end up getting remarried. They had a five-year-old daughter um, uh, together uh, before they got a divorce. So, I mean, could you imagine that little girl seeing her parents come back together? Man, absolutely amazing, you know, after being separated for that long. So, we've seen that happen many, many times. We've seen uh, pe people that had, marriage, uh, that had divorce papers in hand. Uh, completely restored um, at first steps to success and then um, of course the finances and all that stuff so for those of you to be in San Antonio I can't wait to see you there I cannot wait to see your beautiful face and um, to work with you for those three solid days so that's it for me for now all right God bless you I need to go cook dinner what are you making for dinner I'm making chicken tacos all organic super healthy burning the fat feeding the muscle that's what I'm feeding my husband tonight. Anyway, all right, that's it for me. God bless you. Please fill out the survey. I'm going to read every single one of your responses. I cannot wait to read what you write um, and to pray for you and to answer the questions um, as we get going. All right, God bless. Bye.